Hello coders, this is Jared with Renaissance Coders and in this video we are going to implement the alignment functionality into our 2D AI flocking project in Unity. Before we do that though, let's just look at where we are coming from. Okay, so this is what we currently have set up. We've got both the wandering and the cohesion be behavior implemented into our current scene. So this is what we should be looking at if you're following along. Okay, now let's go ahead and stop this. For this video, we are going to be working within the member script again. So let's go ahead and open it up. Now what we need to do in this video is actually add a new function to our member script. So we're going to scroll down beneath our cohesion function here. Just enter two spaces and we're gonna create a new function that returns a vector three. We can call it alignment. Okay, so the first thing that we want to actually do inside of our alignment function is create a new vector three that we can just call our align vector. We're gonna set that equal to a new vector three here. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is create a var, and we can just call this members is equal to level.getNeighbors. We are again just gonna pass in this and our conf.alignment radius. Okay, and now we need to actually check the count on our members. So we're gonna say if members.count is equal to zero, then we are just going to return our align vector. So if we did not return, we we will want to iterate over each of the members within our members list. So we're going to say for each var member in members. Then we're going to say if is in fov for fill the view. Again, we're going to pass in our member dot position here. And finally, if it is in the field of view, then we're going to update our alignment vector or our align vector. So we're going to say align vector plus equals member dot velocity. Okay, and now outside of our for each loop, what we want to do is actually return our alignment vector dot normalized. Now let's go ahead and save it. Well, again, before we leave though, let's change our combine function here to our alignment function, save that, and go back out to our scene. We will have to add some values to our level object here, to our member config script. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we actually need to update the alignment radius and alignment priority. So we are going to set the alignment radius to a value of, let's say 10, and our priority to a value of, let's just go with 90. Okay, cool. Now let's go ahead and save it, and we're gonna press play and see what happens. Okay, should start off fairly slowly again. We can see these are all trying to get sort of grouped up down through here. Kind of had a group going on here, but they seem to have split up now. So this does appear to be at least fairly random at the moment. So let's go ahead and stop it. We're gonna go back out to our member script now change alignment back to combine, and now let's add the variables we need in our combine function. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually take this to a new line, and we're going to say plus conf dot alignment priority multiplied by our alignment function. Okay, now let's go ahead and save that, go back out to our level, and now we should see something different. Okay, cool, so they're definitely lining up a lot more. Um, they're almost none no members that are not a part of a group now. Looks like these three may align. Yeah, so those three actually aligned in a group. And as we can see, this first one tried to catch the back of that group, so it's starting to follow there. Pretty cool stuff so far. So again, we are just slowly enhancing the AI as we go forward. So let's go ahead and stop that. Now that is actually gonna do it for this video. This video is fairly short, but it's definitely pretty cool. In our next video, we are going to add in our separation functionality so be sure to stay tuned for that one don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and as always thanks for watching